Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a semi-automated furnace. Now this would have to be one of the most simplest designs out there. I came up with it myself. So what we have here is three chests and in the first one here we place our ore in it. In the second one we place coal and in this third one this is the output chest. Now if we open it up, you'll see that we have 35 ingots in there. And then shortly we should have another one that comes in, so let's just wait for that. There we go, there's another ingot. Now if we come back here, um, what we have down here is a furnace where the hoppers are going into. We have a minecart bringing up the items into this hopper. Now I'm going to explain this a little bit more when I'm building it, so let's start now. So what you are going to need is one furnace, five hoppers, five normal rails, four powered rails, one redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, two redstone torches, one piece of redstone dust, two chests, one trapped chest, a minecart with a chest, three stairs of your choice, I've just got some oak ones, and then a 64 stack of planks. So the first thing that we are going to do is place the chests. So you want to get out your trap chest and you want to place it normal chest, trap chest and then a normal chest. This will just allow them so they don't link up and you can just have single chests next to each other. Next we're going to dig a 3 by 5 by 3 deep hole. So you want to start under the chests here. So we're going to go 1, 2 and 3, then 5 that way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then just dig this way and line up back up with the first block we dug. Then dig out um, until you get to it and then dig out the center here. Now we just need to dig this down two more layers. Now go under this first chest we placed here and face to the back. Place a block in front of you, then place a hopper with the funnel going into it. We're just going to do this just to make our lives a whole lot easier because if we did this last, we would actually have to dig this wall out here because there's actually stuff going to go here and if there's stuff here, we actually can't uh, go there. So that's why we're going to be doing that first. Now leave two blocks from this hopper here, then place a block on top of the hopper, place a powered track, then a powered track down here, normal track, then a powered. Destroy the powered track on top of the hopper here and place your furnace down on top of there. Now on top of the furnace, place a hopper going into it, a hopper on the side here with the funnel going into it, then a hopper on top of this one with the funnel going into that one there. What this will do is it will drain the items from this chest here, which this is going to be your ores such as iron, and it will pull it and place it into this top slot here. This one here will pull it down into these hoppers, then put it into this bottom slot here for the coal. So that's a coal chest, that's your ore chest. Now we need to detect if there's any items in this hopper here, so we simply just get a redstone comparator, place it next to it but facing away, and then place a block there, get your single piece of redstone dust out, place it next to the block, then get your redstone repeater and place it so it's facing into this track here. And what this will do is when there is an item in that hopper there, it will send a signal out through this comparator, then that will go into the block which will then power this redstone here, which will then go into the repeater and then it will power this track here and it will send the minecart up to that, res that output chest. Now we actually need to bring this track here up to the output chest, so simply create like a little R shape like that, then raise it up one layer, place another block next to it, then raise it up one more. In this corner here, place a normal track, powered, normal, normal, and a normal like that. Now on either sides of the array of chests, we need to create a two high pillar. I've just got some logs just to give it a form of decoration. Now coming from behind here, we need to place some stairs, the stairs, the three stairs, upside down. And then from the front, they, shall, they should look like wooden planks. So as you can see, that there looks like that, but in fact they are stairs. And we've done this so we can actually open up the chest, because if they were actually planks, you can't do it. Um, if they're a transparent block, which a stair is, um, you can actually open up it. Now behind the output chest here, we want to place a hopper with the funnel going into it. Now on top of the hopper here, place the remaining pad rail. 
Now we actually need to make this rail here on a 45 degree angle like this one here. So just grab another rail, I'm just going to grab this corner one. Place it on top of the stair that is above your output chest. Put it there, then destroy it. Now you can place that back and you'll see that it's on a 45 degree angle now. Now the last thing that we have to do is actually power up these tracks here and place down the minecart. So here just place a redstone torch on that pillar there and it will power up that track. Here just place a block in the centre and put the redstone torch on top there. And then place your minecart with the chest on this powered rail here. Now there is actually one last thing we've got to do and that is put a solid layer of blocks on the top here. So just simply put your solid blocks on top like that and it should be three blocks high now. Now what this does is when the minecart comes up it will actually hit it and then go back down. If we didn't have that there um, it would actually just get stuck up here and we don't want that to happen. So there we go, that is it for this tutorial. Now we're just going to test if it works. So in the first chest here, place in your ores. In the second one, place in your coal. Now if we come around the back here, what this is doing is, is it's draining it from the chests and putting it into this furnace here. The minecart will actually only come up if there is something being smelted. If there isn't, it will stay down there and won't, won't make any noise from the tracks, which is a good thing. So there we go, that is essentially it for this tutorial. If you learnt how to build this today, please remember to leave a like. I'm going to be starting to do some more tutorials because I know a lot of you have actually subscribed for these, so I'm going to start doing some more. Um, if you have any ideas for what I should make, please leave them in the comments. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.